I got a lot of vintage Star Wars in this exchange place. Look at all that Star Wars. Man, whoa. Blows my mind. They got a whole section of Star Wars just right here. A section of it. Pretty cool. A lot of it is vintage Kenner. Some of it's got to be vintage Kenner or older. Got some older Star Wars stuff. Oh, here's some vintage Kenner. I have this, but it's... It's missing the hatch to it. I have that exact TIE fighter, but different. I look at all that. So much Kenner. You don't see this stuff around anymore. Wow. We got some stuff over here. We got some uh, Disney stuff over here. A lot of it Disney. Bakugan. Oh, look at that. We got some play sets too. That's awesome. A lot of those. Here we got their random shelf. Got some TMNT in there. That shredder looks pretty cool. Oh, there's an ATST, but it's missing quite a few parts. Wow. Definitely. Some vintage comic books. Cool. Over here, we got some car stuff. Oh, we got some Power Rangers stuff. That's awesome. I love me seeing some Power Rangers stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Huh. Uh, yeah, that's some cool stuff. That's cool. Over here, we got some Funko Pops. That's awesome. That's that's some cool, some cool Funko Pops. They got quite a collection of those. Here's where I grab that Masters of the Universe uh, Skeletor because I opened myself up to it. I never bought one, so I'm getting one. Got some more G.I. Joe. More Funkles up there. Got some game pieces over here. I think they're from newer, one of the newer consoles or older ones. Got some Skylanders. Who doesn't remember Skylanders? Got some Mario up there. Some Mario. Lots and lots of Mario. Lots and lots of play sets. This place is just awesome. This might have to be my replacement for my favorite store that went out of business. They just get just keep on getting better and better. A toy review and collector. So we got some Fortnite here. That's that's neat. Got some blasters up here. Gaming blasters. <laughs> More Funkles and this stuff here. I don't know anything about. We got some stuff over here, which is cool. These are some carded figures from different lines. Oh, Charlie's Angels and Happy Days. My mom would remember Happy Days. It's Fifth Element too, and Pirates of the Caribbean. That's awesome stuff we're seeing here. Wow. And this case is filled with so many Transformers. A lot of it newer or Generation 1 stuff. But yeah, this case is pretty cool. And we got these, I think, from other lines. I don't know anything about that line, though. Oh, look at that Devastator. That is big. That's like third party. 100 bucks. Wow. A bumblebee up there. We got bumblebee in the house. My boy bumblebee. Some more figures here. This place is like figure glory. So much figures here. It's amazing. Sure, they're all random, but it's cool. And then we got some figures down here. Anime figures. You don't see those around anymore. A lot of these I don't know anything about. We got some Voltron. Bert loves some Voltron. If you know my fellow collector Bert, he likes Voltron. We got some Funkles up here, more Funkles. Anime Heroes action figures, which are awesome. Quite a few figures here. We got some Gundam. Gundam is awesome. Just stating. Gundam is the most awesomest anime of my childhood. And we got some more. Got some doll. Got that doll from uh, Summer Wars. I don't think I watched that. And Dragon Ball Super. 
That's cool. Got some uh, board games. I got board games here too. That's cool. And a mother load of spawn action figures. Wow. That just blows my mind. I'm already starting to like this place. And I saved about 43 bucks. That's why I'm coming here after the convention. I will do another toy hunt here maybe in May. Let's see what they got in May. Got some wrestlers for anyone who likes wrestlers. Uh, got some Walking Dead in the house. I love Walking Dead. It's one of my favorite movies for sure. One of my favorite shows for sure. Oh, who doesn't remember Mummies Alive? That was a show and a toy line. Alien soldier guy got uh, Michael Myers. I've heard of him. Uh, over here, we got some more monster figures here. Lots and lots of monster figures. Lots and lots and lots of monster figures, for sure. I've seen so much. Ah, huh. oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, they got some Beanie Babies. She doesn't remember Beanie Babies. <laughs> I got that music guy, I forget his, I don't know his name. But yeah, some cool, some cool stuff. And the final, I'm gonna look at, and then I'm just gonna stick to getting a movie, getting a movie maybe. But here we got some Marvel in the house. Look at all that Marvel, all that DC and Marvel. It's awesome. They got more over here, which is cool. They got some little tiny figures. Awesome, some Funkles. Not bad. And some more Marvel over here. Epic on Epic. I will say this place is amazing, and I will think about coming back. This place is just so amazing. No, and some things are really, really expensive, but it is cool. Definitely cool stuff here. And that's all there is to say for the uh, place with all the toys galore. Oh, we got some real Ghostbusters here as well. I didn't notice that. Real Ghostbusters. Bert, you'd be impressed seeing some real Ghostbusters. Some He-Man vehicles. Starship Trooper. I remember that movie. The dinosaurs. That guy I don't know anything about. I don't know what that is, but it is cool. 50 bucks, though. And I think we got some G.I. Joe vehicles. Uh, I don't know a lot of these lines. And we got some collector's cups. And more Marvel over here. So yeah, this is the last bit of the video inside the collector's store. I will be thinking about coming back to this place. This place is awesome. This is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out.